This video is recorded to help my students to understand the constructor and the destructor in the class family tree. So there is a test question says, suppose that A is derived from B, which is derived from C. When an object of A is out of scope, what is the order that the destructors are called? So from the problem statement, you can say uh, A is a child of B. B is a child of C. So, according to the textbook, when you create an object of A, then the constructor of C will be called first, then the constructor of B will be called, then the constructor of A will be called. However, when the object A is out of scope, then it will be destroyed, then the destructor of A will be called first, then the destructor of B, then the destructor of C. Okay? So, some students confuse about this. My idea is every time you confuse about some concept, you just simply write a program to test it. For this example, I will write a class ABC in very simple version. For example, my class C, I just has uh, the public session just have two uh, methods. One is a default constructor, another is destructor. By the way, uh, not every class need a destructor. In your textbook says, if your class do not have a dynamic memory uh, data type as uh, uh, data type involved dynamic memory as his private attributes, then you do not need a destructor. Uh, also, your book mentioned big three. That means uh, copy constructor, over, uh, overload the assignment operator, and uh, the destructor. Those three. If you implement one of those, then you need to implement all three of these. So th that's why the, your book called Big Three. So in general, we don't need a uh, destructor. We don't need a copy constructor. We don't need a uh, overload assignment operator if the class object do not involve the dynamic memory. That means it doesn't store his private attributes in a dynamic memory. Then you don't need destructor, copy constructor. You don't need overload assignment operator. But for this example purpose, we just gave it a destructor anyway. So the constructor very simple for the C. Just print out, say, constructor uh, constructor C. For the destructor, you just print out the message, say, destructor C. Now, for the class B is a child of class C. His constructor just print out a message, constructor B. Destructor just print out a message, destructor B. And uh, A, Class A is a, a child class of class B, so his constructor just print out a constructor A, and the destructor just print out a destructor A. In your main function, very simple, you just created an object of A, then you finish your main function. When, when you finish your main function, object A is out of scope, so the destructor should be called. The order to call this destructor, we said, will be uh, A, B, C. When you create an object of class A, then the constructor order will be called it's supposed to be C B A. Okay, so let's run the program to say what is the result. So if I run it, it compiles success. If you uh, let you say you say when you construct object A, okay, the highest level constructor will be called first. Here is the grandpa class C constructor call first, then call the constructor of B, then call A's constructor. Now when object A out of scope, that means when main function finish, then the destructor called, it will call the lowest uh, constructor first. In this case is a grandson A, his con the destructor called, and uh, then uh, son B destructor called, then it's parent C. Uh, his destructor code. So, uh, <clears throat> to me, if I try to memorize this, uh, I always memorize in this way. I say like, a, if you recall in the window, if you want to remove a folder, right? You want to remove a folder, you should remove all the child uh, folders inside that folder first before you can remove the, this folder. But when you construct a folder, your folders, Family, you need to construct the parent folder first, then go inside 
construct a child photo, then go inside the child photo, construct a grandchild photo, right? So uh, here is the same thing. So if you want to construct an object, you start from the highest level, go down. When you destruct an object, you start from the lowest level, go up. Okay. So if you have any questions, please give me an email.